sense of humor that cracks smiles on clouds and brighten on my day, making way for light she brights up these dark tunnels inside of me. Jokingly one day she gonna tell me that roaches are related to vampires. And I'm like, what? She said because roaches are so hard to kill, like vampires. <laughs> and roaches are afraid of light. <laughs> hey, she's my flower, and she can make bees break out. She can make bluebirds get bear hugs to blackbirds, and they grab her name at the bark of an evergreen tree just to spread the word that a new flower's in town. And somehow, she's got this beat going off the side of me. She's put this itch in my palm, and the palm of right seems to be centered around how neat she keeps her eyebrows. And sometimes I find myself doing things that macho men said men should never do, like watching the cooking channel. <laughs> right, poetry. I haven't thought about getting rid of my red nose pit bull and getting me this fluffy little poodle. One day, right, she was standing in this karate stance and she had her knees slightly bent. She had her left hand in front of her right and her fingers were in this cup position and they were shut real tight. She then moved her right foot of her left and took it a deep breath and said, Yeah! And she took a black wing swing and she split the wind into two and then she looked at me and she said, Blue. These things you see me do, I get you wobbling on them, but you can do them too if you want to. And I said, who, me? No, I said, stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> she said, no, it's true, Blue. If you drop your seed into this fertile soil, we gonna make two of you. And I said, who, me? She said, yes, you. And if we have a boy, we gonna name him W. <laughs> <laughs> Please day my girl and me would be at this corner by the white picket fence while the grass grew high and we would kick up our sneakers and roll up our blue jeans and we would just walk barefooted down this unpaved dirt road and she would have the blanket and I would have the basket and we'd always find ourselves on our backs bending the blades of grass and there I was with the sun in my face and I found myself apologizing to the wind and the rain and the rocks and everything like that and batting off the life was and going my way and her chest was like a mess and it was the best place to rest my head and her hand was in my hand and her t-shirt matched my t-shirt and we both smell like mint and lemon and pollen and fresh baked bread and it was just a statement to the world that she is my own and I'm is her own man <laughs> and on our way home we would collect apples and berries from the surrounding bushes and trees cause she was gonna make me a blueberry pie and apple jam 